Gruesome Magazine. Hello, once again, I'm Doc Rodden, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-hosts, Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dre, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing The Super Deep, streaming now on Shudder. This is going to be fun. All right, joining me tonight is my co-host, Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing real good, Doc. That's super deep. You know, you didn't have to do that. You're super deep to start off with. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. All right. Also joining this week is yes. Crystal Cleveland, the living dead girl. I love that. You're like, it's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to convince so you. Oh, right? <laughs> funny. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> All right. Rounding out the crew is the one and only Dave. Dave, how you doing? Man, I can't follow that up. I got nothing after that. You got nothing. <laughs> got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. All right. Well, I hope you have a lot to say about the Super Deep because that's what we're covering tonight. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give our first impressions. Then we're going to talk about the film. When we talk about, we're going to give away uh, spoilers. Can't not do that because we're going to talk about. It. And then we're going to wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. Uh, this is the Super Deep. Uh, really cool poster. I, I love the poster. I was about to say the same thing. I love the poster. Yes, uh, it is available streaming on Shutter beginning June 17, 2021. It's directed and uh, originally written by Arsene Shuhin. I mispronounced that, I'm pretty sure. The English adaptation <laughs> by Samuel Stewart Hunter. Uh, the cast includes uh, Milena Rod... Uh, why do I do this myself? Milena Radulovic. Radulovic, yeah. Uh, I, had a, I had a Radulovic sandwich for dinner today. Oh, stop it. Sergei <laughs> Ivan Yuck. Sir, I'm, sorry, sir. I'm pretty sure that's not Yuck. Sergei. Ivan Sergei. Ivan. <laughs> uh, Nikolai Korv... I, just stop it. I'm never going to Russia. <laughs> All right, the synopsis is a small research team went, <laughs> went down below the surface to find out what the secret of the world's deepest borehole. <laughs> Why is that funny? What is hiding? What's a borehole? <laughs> You're such a uh, borehole. A hole that's bored. Yeah. <laughs> you flipping we borehole. We can't even get past the synopsis. What they have found turned out to be the greatest threat in history, and the future of humanity is in their hands. Oh, dear. All right. Well, let's find out. What... Okay. So uh, before we get into it, this is a Russian film, and we've seen uh, mm. a, a variety of Russian films here in the past year or so with the Grizzly Magazine. Uh, you know, many of All them... of them are good. Yeah, absolutely. And many of them through Shudder or, or similar mm -hmm. uh, outlets. And uh, I, I just want to say how thankful I am. I love being exposed to horror and sci-fi films from across the, the globe. And every country has their own take, and, and the Russian ones are, are very they're, interesting. They're good with horror. Like they, I don't know. They've got a they've got a good pulse for horror. It's they do, they do, they do indeed. So let's find out what our first impression of, of this film is. And we're going to start off with Crystal. Oh, it's because I said yeah, yeah. Hey, yay! Okay, so. I mean, if it isn't obvious, I did enjoy this movie. So <clears throat> here's the thing. It's basically, I feel like this movie is trying to be a fungal version of the thing. Yeah. And it, and it <laughs> kind of feels that way to me as well. And I will say that it actually does well in quite a few places. I mean... It's it's pretty much impossible to really compete with the thing. It's such a masterpiece. But the cinematography here is awesome. The body horror is fabulous. They have a they actually have a lot of uh, good gore and bleh, bleh, the the spores thing shooting. I don't know why it really really grossed me out and got to me. Oh my god! And there yeah, there's some good gore and weird body horror. So if you're into that, I think you'll like this movie. You'll at least enjoy watching it. Um, the the spots where I think that uh, they may have missed the mark a bit is is it seems it feels long, a little long, a little too long, a little, little stretched out. And I don't feel like 
the characters were as developed as they were in the thing. And so we're missing some of that connection. Mm -hmm. However, the acting was good. The cinematography was good. The story idea was cool. The way it was done is cool. So, so they hit a lot of good marks. They just fell short. But like I said, I'm comparing it to the thing. So it's hard not to, it's hard. Yeah. 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 Even when they come out at the, Oh, well, even at the end, it reminded me of, and then, you know, even more so. So it's, I really enjoyed it, though. Like I said, I felt like it was a little bit long, but but I had a good time, and I enjoyed watching it. Yeah. And I was really, my jaw dropped a couple times. Nice. With a couple and, things, and it, so. Well, it is, hard, it is hard to stick the landing on a film like this, and I think yeah. that's one of the things this film has going for it. So we'll get into that later. All right, Dave Dreyer, you're up next. Your first impression of The Super Deep. Oh, super deep. Uh, yeah, very, very thingy. Uh, also <laughs> reminded me a lot of the void. Uh, oh, had yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. Void going on too. Some of some of the effects were a little too dark. They weren't really very well oh. lit. I don't know if that was on purpose or or not. I, I think it definitely suffers from the fact. And, and someone, please correct me if I'm wrong, but that this was dubbed, was it not? Yes, it was very much. Yeah, so. and and that's it suffered from that. Although for the <laughs> most part, they did a very good job with mm -hmm. the dubbing. Um, but sometimes it just, you know, I, I, I think a film suffers from that because we're not hearing the actual actors' voices and, and uh, you know, their actual inflection and what's going on. Uh, and it, it seemed a little disjointed for me because of that sometimes. Uh, but I, I love the special effects. I love the, the, the big creature. And I love the sound design on this. The, the fucking sound mm -hmm. that that thing makes was just yes, absolutely... Yes. I'd be like, yep, nope, I'm out. Bye! Mm, <laughs> Not yeah. staying here with that thing. Um, so the sound kind of freaked me out more than anything else. But the, the body horror and the and the the mold and the, the little pus sacks and all that stuff. Ah, oh, the yeah. pus sacks, yes. Yeah, 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 it was it was all kind of good, uh, but I agree with Crystal. It did seem a little a little long, a little long in the tooth, but uh, it, it's worth the watch. Definitely worth the watch. Worth the watch. All right, I'll go next since Jeff fell out. Jeff um, vanished. Must have internet problems as doing this live. That is what we have to suffer through from time to time. I I will say that I I enjoyed this, and I I but I wanted to enjoy it more. It it it, it felt like it didn't quite achieve what it was after. It didn't quite reach its goal. But at the same time, I was incredibly fascinated with the film. Uh, when it did work, the effects were quite extraordinary. Um, there are scenes like where people are just like melded into things. And, yeah. and, and then, and then, yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but there are some really like, whoa, gruesome scenes. And um, I really loved how it ended, the, the last little bit. And of, of course, that's what it's going to do. You know, it's going to be that race against time. And they, I thought they handled that really well. And I liked the lead. Oh, um, yeah, me too. I thought yeah, she, she was, was very good. really strong. And she made it. Um, I, I don't know if I understood the relationships between everybody. And See, like, and I think, like, that's what I was saying. I didn't feel like the character development was there, but... But when Dave mentioned the dubbing, I'm like, you know what? I bet that's part of why I felt disconnected. Yeah, because you know, I, to... did, I didn't, like the leader, I didn't understand his role. He yeah. felt off. And then the one that she gives the kiss to, I didn't really get their relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, it's just, the, I was, so I was a little, uh, you know, maybe Confused. it was lost in translation <laughs> part of it, like, you know, to, to coin a phrase. Uh, so I... Uh, but regardless of that, I think there's a lot in this for people to enjoy, and it is quite a fun monster flick. All right, Jeff is back. He got sucked down into the super deep. Back again. Again. Back from the super deep. Back. So, sir, what was your first impression <laughs> of the super deep? Well, I thought I, I thought it was a great concept. Um, the the whole idea behind it, as Crystal described it, the a fungal thing, and it it goes what well, kind of deeper into that <laughs> uh, kind of like the like like the thing does goes goes farther <laughs> back uh i thought it was a great creature concept and that the effects were really good um but i can't handle there's certain things that drive me nuts and one of them is long drawn out scenes when <laughs> there's a danger that's immediate 
and action is urgent and they're like yeah oh, i know <laughs> what you're talking about uh, it yeah. just drives me nuts oh. um mm-hmm. and there was several of those in here where i felt like they were just and i don't to me those if those would have been shorted like just even those particular scenes that pause and wait and take and thing and struggle and drama it wasn't dr- dramatic to me it was uh it was irritating and and uh you know, made me wait for stuff I didn't want to wait for. Uh, and then I also, I had a little problem with the dubbing at first. Um, I know Dave doesn't like subtitles, but uh, it just sounded off to me. Something didn't sound natural. And I have a feeling that they spent a lot of time and effort on the dubbing because there's a whole bunch of credits for it at the end. So mm-hmm. about halfway through, I, I must have got used to it because I quit noticing it. But I, I even watched it a second time because I don't know. It wasn't always clear to me where they were in relation to other parts of the station. They're like just now I'm in this other dark hallway where I can't see. Um, I, I know I'm being a crotchety old man, but they're towards the end of the film. I, I I don't know if I missed something or or what happened, but then she goes out on that long runway, and there seems to be some type of energy force that's pushing against her. What, what was that? What did I miss? I, <laughs> I don't know. Well, most you know, she's like, she's fighting it. I'm like, what is, what is it? Heat? Well, is it, I, is it I, energy? Yeah. Is it bounds? What the yeah. fuck is it? <laughs> well, I got, I got the impression that she was she was fighting off the heat because it was supposed to be right. like, you know, you could only survive like five minutes in this heat. And she got like this incredible sunburn and burnt her hands and stuff. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah it was like, yeah, it was yeah. like two, over 200 degrees out there. And which was they were like surprised when they got down there that it wasn't hotter because they had they had. Uh, wouldn't her hair have burned off? <laughs> There's a lot of like her eyeballs would have dried up and popped. But uh, that, and gotta, breathing, breathing <laughs> your lungs. Yes, breathing, you breathing the but she did have a mask on for a little bit. But once she took that off, but you know some of the things you just got to take, right? You got to. Okay, I just didn't know what she was doing. I'm like, what? What's she fighting? I don't know. I didn't well, that's understand what it was. part of one of the things that irritated me that her <clears throat> kind of staggering forward, yes. and so I, you know, and that's. That's fairly minor, except it happens like three or four times in different situations. I felt like we're uh, the ice bucket challenge is, is sort of like that too um, for me. <laughs> what do you mean in like the the actual ice bucket challenge, or are you referencing the, the ice bucket? Bu- the bucket. Yeah. The, scene, the, the, the scene in the movie. Yeah. The scene okay. in the movie. I was. I figured that. Yeah. Uh, I just want to be sure because I. Yeah, I didn't want to. Well. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to get into that too much, but they were, it was sort of like seemed to me like there was some urgency should have been after that, and mm-hmm. maybe not. Maybe I wasn't thinking that through right. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think where this movie shines is when it does get down to the creature effects. Um, mm-hmm. When, like, when the lady first comes in and they take her shirt off and you oh, see her yeah. back, it's yeah. like, holy yeah. crap! And That's then crazy. The, the, all the spore stuff is like incredibly. Yeah, crazy. it is. And um, the guy <laughs> at the end who's attached to the the center post mm-hmm. is like, yeah, like melted into the floor. Yeah, it's like yeah. incredibly frightening. Um, well, when the when the the giant thing is moving too, and then when you find out all through the movie, are we giving too much away? No, no. Well, well, we are giving away every uh, every scene. I have that's my oh, favorite okay. scene. We've right. already mentioned them all. Well. <laughs> All through the movie, when you're not <laughs> sure what the what the baddie looks like or what it is, and you're hearing these really weird screams and thumpings and stuff, mm-hmm. and when they finally show you what's where that's coming from, that is that's just nasty as all get out. That's that was yeah. creepy. I thought cringy, and I'm with Crystal. The spores and that kind of stuff. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I compare it to mm. allergies. You know, I used to go play in my grandpa's barn. And then I'd get off my eyes and get all bloodshot and watery and my <clears> nose <throat> sinuses would plug up. And whenever I see those moats floating around in the air, it reminds me of being in the in the Maybe. haymow in the barn, you know. Yes. That's, I, I Maybe know. that's I'm why I have such a though. problem with it. I'm I'm allergic to everything. So Maybe that uh, is that too much information? <laughs> no, I don't no. think so, not at all. <laughs> the, uh, I like I said at the end, I loved how this film ended. The the final scenes um, and matter of fact, the actual final shot, I just, I thought it was perfect for the, this film. It just has that, that 
fatal fatal look that you know not very optimistic look at, at whatever is they're talking about because i mean it's also very russian because they're talking about you know the country you know miles above the countries and thing and they're all debating about what to do with this knowledge whether you you, you bury it down here or you take it up and try to make something of it go because there's two different uh factions so there's a lot of interesting stuff kind of going on but i'm not really sure that it's consistent throughout the whole s story to make it you know worthwhile because a lot of times it's just like a Poseidon adventure kind of thing. It's just surviving, right? They're stuck and they got to get out. You know, a straight up monster movie. Um, then other times it's this political thing about, you know, what's morally right and wrong. Well, and like every single person she's, well, that's not true, but but all the all the people that she gets direct contact with, they're all total jerks except the major, the guy that ends up becoming part of the yeah, but he, the elevator. He, he, oh, okay, that major. Yeah, I see. I that's what I, I, I couldn't really figure out who's who. But the, the, the who's who's the leader guy with the tie? I don't know. I had a right. difficult time with the people. The young too. guy, the younger guy. No, the older guy. I just, uh, just he was a colonel, I think. Right, but he never was dressed like a colonel. He was just and no, it was just really weird. No. It was like, who is this guy? Um, so he looked like a, I thought he was like a K, KGB agent or something. The guy like in the black right. suit. Guy. Yeah, 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 I felt yeah, like that. Yeah. But I, the ball guy. Yeah, so I imagine that you know that's what we would call local color in literature, and yet you would know that if you were, you know, Russian in Russia. But here it's like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? But he probably, <laughs> but it, but I mean, I got the you know the the gist that he's basically the, the man in charge, but why? <laughs> But, then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they were all jerks and all for different reasons right you know? right the, the, the one guy didn't want to die the one guy wanted to be famous for discovery of something um yep. the head guy i don't know what he was doing the guy that when they went down the elevator with him the 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 12 kilometer elevator <laughs> I did like the elevator. I thought the, all the elevator scenes were really good. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. Um, because it's creepy and weird. Yeah. It's like, what on earth? What kind of elevator? And I did like it when they got off the elevator and everything was frozen. Yes. Because um, it, yeah. it, it, it was like, why is it frozen? It, it was like this sudden mystery. And um, so it sparked my interest to kind of pay attention to what's going on. And uh, it actually became relevant. And gave us some information about yes, you know, yes. the story. So, and uh, and there there is some optical effects in here. Uh, there's a lot of it seems like a lot of practical effects, but there's some optical ones with the lighting that I thought yeah, really worked. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought the effects were really good. I don't know. What is... Two. Mm -hmm. uh, they yeah. used a lot of them too. Like honestly, at first I was kind of watching. I was like, okay. Interesting. And of course, once we saw the back, I was like, okay, you, mm, you pe yes. you've really piqued my interest now. Because it really jacked me up. I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. She's like, I mean, I feel okay. I just feel a little weird or whatever. You think? You think? The lady cut yeah, I off. She goes, I'm going to take a little piece off. She like yaks off this giant ugh. hunk of her back. It's like, did that hurt? Like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. so gross it that was nasty that was so gross i really yeah mm -mm. uh know. well i the the movie rests on the shoulder of its lead melena rude rude uh, how do you say it dave uh, i don't know it was a sandwich it sounded like sounded like you were trying to say uh, that's good radulovic yes melena radulovic she she really carries this film i mean she is spectacular yeah yeah um, Agreed. I mean, uh, it, 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 <laughs> whenever it started to falter, whenever she came back on screen, it would pick right back up. And she was, she did a great job. She had like a Ripley moment there at the end. She did very much so. I was thinking that it's yeah. kind of a, a cross between Ripley and was it McFadden? No, it was not McFadden. What's his? McFadden. What's, what's uh, <laughs> the guy from the thing? What's his name? <laughs> Mc, oh, oh my god. Of course, of course it was McFadden. Yeah. Everybody no, knows not that. McFadden. <laughs> McGeary, McGarry, McGrary. Oh McGregory. god, I'm really bad at this Mac. right now. They call him Mac. Anyway. McCready. McCready. Ah. <laughs> oh, I just, 
I, I have to turn in my horror card. I have a head cold, <laughs> so have every I'm cold. like, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever I buy you it. say, I don't care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, <laughs> but she was close between those two characters. I think, so. Yeah, yeah, very much. So it really had the 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 feel of like the end of uh, Aliens when they're on that elevator. You know, going back up in aliens and the the, yeah. the mother aliens in the other elevator beside them, and they're trying to get back up. That's the that reminded me of that scene. That oh well, yeah, not just say it definitely. No, uh, but you're really a... making me wish that we had watched it though, without it being dubbed. I yeah. Well, I mean, see, it's... I'm wondering if maybe when it goes live, I'll I'll be interested uh, in looking at the live version on Shutter if yeah. they yeah. add that to it. Yeah, yeah. see it. Uh, with yeah. The... I think it might be easier to understand. I mean, you I still think you could lose something in translation that way, but I think that it that I might feel more toward the characters. I also think this would play better on a big screen. This feels like Yeah, definitely. Like it would be this would be a great one to watch at a you know, like a festival, an international festival. And yeah, this one comes in mm -hmm. and you see this and like you know nothing about it, so you go in, sit down, and you're like, What the hell? That was so good. No, no. It would it would really be impactful. Because mm -hmm. I there were points, um, I don't know if you guys experienced, I think Dave, you mentioned this. There there is a moment about midway through the film when we get the big monster reveal and then it's so dark you really don't see what's happening. That's what Dave, yeah. And yeah. um that bothered me a little bit. But other than that, you there's a lot of times where it's just straight up see them like you know, the elevator scene when they're heading back up or when the guy's screaming because and the other girls you know, Oh, that was sad. Yeah. That screen when he are you talking about the dude that was part of it? Ah, yeah, yeah. And and, uh, oh, that made me. That actually made me really sad. <laughs> I was like, that's so. Well, sad. What, there was a scene that since we're talking spoilers, there's a point where she like undresses and like slithers underneath the thing. Yeah. And does something. I don't know if she cut him or cut something off of it. Or mm. I, I, I'm like, okay, first yeah, I that I get act, naked. Yeah. What's, what's up with that? I mean, I got no problem with it, but it seemed kind of weird. Was she getting a sample? <laughs> well, well, she, well, she was also made herself cold, so it couldn't tell it was her. That's why she did the ice yeah. jam. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, that because makes a little more sense now. Yeah, because the cold. But, I, but, think, but again, you think you'd want to wear clothes because your body heat is going to come back up. You If you wear clothes and then dampen the clothes, the clothes are going to stay cold longer. That's the yeah. skin well. This movie didn't need logic. So, I don't know why she did yeah. But I didn't know what she, what she was doing and why she was doing it. But that's when she, like, turns her head and that, that face opens its eyes and yeah, like, screams at her. And, uh, that was a good moment, but I was just like, why? Is, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, I, she did cut something off, and I don't know. I, I didn't get what that was about. I think she was still collecting samples. Oh, no, I, know, I, I, I know what it was. It was a scientist was, to the end. She was getting the, um, she was getting the the card back because the guy was the guy that had the card was sucked in. Oh, oh the scientist. Yeah, oh. Oh. See, I, 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 yeah. that was the, totally lost on me, but that makes sense out. now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that, that's the whole that's the whole reason they go down there is because they can't get up without the card, so they have to go get the card, and the card's in a very weird place, and then once they get the card, the goober scientist grabs it and, <laughs> and that was okay. after well, she had to run through the 200 degrees the heat testicles. to get the car right? <laughs> right under the monster yeah. <laughs> just my luck the goddamn <laughs> cards under the monster's testicles god damn it <laughs> <laughs> well there could be worse right <laughs> You know what else I found really effective like when she's on when they're on the elevator they the nice little touches they did like when the dude breathed and he had like the little spores coming out of his oh, mouth. Yes. Yeah, that. that was good. I was like, I, I also, like, when she I kissed him, I'm like, don't, like don't, kiss him. Kiss him. Right. don't kiss him. Don't kiss him. I knew she was going to kiss him. Well, she was oh. already oh. infected, was right? Yeah. yeah, she's already been she well, was why infected. Why would you kiss him? Come on, give me a break. Come on. Eh. It, was, well, he... it was just makeup, Dave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Ah, but yeah. I agree. I agree. You know what it was, was missing? Was it was gross. missing pink and purple lights. That, that's what would have oh, said. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure there was yeah. They're, they're, they're not up with the latest horror trends. So, Thank goodness for that. <laughs> All right. Um, let's wrap this up. Let's give our final thoughts, our score, <laughs> one to five, and our favorite scene. But before we do, if you're watching this review, we want to thank you for hanging out with us. We hope you're enjoying not only this review, but many others we have on the site. If you want to help us out, it's really easy, simple, and free to do. Hit the subscribe button or share with a friend. Yay. That would do us wonders. Uh, there's it's also free. A, yeah, free. There's also a like button. <laughs> just like button. You can leave us some comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What did we miss? Did you see this somewhere different than we did? And maybe did it, you know, at a, at a festival or in Russia? 
That would be awesome. Mm. That'd be cool. Ah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We also want to thank our uh, friends over at Patreon because without their support, we wouldn't be able to do not only this, yeah, yes. the, the Grissom Magazine podcast, but Horror News Radio, Decades of Horror, and here and droids. Thank you all so much. All right. Let's do this. Our final thoughts, our score, and our favorite scene. And Crystal, you are up first. Okay. So obviously, I like this. You have Shudder, so you should totally watch it. Definitely watch it. I'm probably going to try to watch it again as well. Um, those Russians, man, they just kind of bring it for me. I don't know why, but they make some good stuff. Um, <clears throat> the score, I'm going to give it a three and a half. Uh, I've been teetering between a three and a half and a 3.75, but uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna stay with my three and a half. Although okay. I, uh, you want to, mm, you want to, you want to. Yeah, are you gonna do I it? want to. No, I, I'm, no. just, I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit. I've been too lax this year. COVID's COVID is wrapping up. It is time to become hardcore crystal again. Okay. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> so um, uh, my favorite scene. There's a lot of them, but I have to go with the patient's back oh my gosh because immediately the whole movie changed for me i was like mm -hmm. oh this is real this got real and it's so detailed and so well done i was just wow like in a lot of and you know in a lot of movies especially any sort of you know i don't know what the budget is here but i would imagine it's not cheap yeah they spent some because yeah. Some money on it. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely watch it. I'm going to watch it again. Then I might be mad that I didn't get a 3.75, which I probably will. <laughs> but, you know, no regrets. Yeah. It has uh, 150 <laughs> million whatevers. What? Who, who, knows, who, knows, who, know, who knows the uh, currency is it of. Is it rubles? I was going to say that, but I felt like that was wrong. Are What's you are? I don't know what a Russian currency is. I don't yeah. know. Translation. There you go. I wonder. Showing my ignorance here, but whatever. I'm pretty um, sure it's just whatevers. Whatever it is. It's whatevers, yeah. 150 million whatevers. <laughs> whatevers. But, I mean, that sounds like a lot. Whatever. Unless you're it, is a it is a ruble. It is a ruble. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, let's look up this translation. Unless, unless you're in Mexico, 150 million is a lot. All right. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> sir, you're up next. Your final thoughts, your score, and favorite thing. Uh, I also uh, went to watch this again uh, when it's on Shutter. Uh, I think this might be one of those ones that, with repeated uh, viewings, grows on you. I'm going to go uh, uh, grows on you. Get it? I'm going to go with arr, a three point two five on this. Um, no, I, it did kind of suffer a little bit. I, I know it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time believing coming from me, but I think really this would have been better with subtitles as opposed to. I know. How is that happening? You know, I know, but I just think it. Uh, I think this one suffered by being dubbed. Um, but the, the lead actress is great. The special effects are great. It's, it's a good story. I, I liked it, but there was just a lot going on that uh, at times just didn't make sense to me. I didn't know what was happening. And we, we, I think we discussed all that on here. You know, that I think we were all kind of confused by the same pieces and parts, but at the end of the day, it's visually fun and, uh, we get a great monster out of it and some yes. pretty good action. Um, Favorite scene, uh, I, I, Crystal, once again, picked the good one. we got to quit letting her go first. She always mm. picks the best one. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the, the uh, when we see the monster, um, uh, it's not the first time. I think it's the second time, but mainly because of the sounds that it makes. I, I, I was very off-put by those sounds because mm -hmm. she's hiding behind a, a chair or a desk or something. And for, I would say, probably what a good 30 to 45 seconds, we just hear those oh, sounds yeah. and, and hear it thumping yeah. as it gets closer. And it's just like, what the fuck? What the hell is this thing? And then we see it and, and we're not disappointed. It's, it, no. it's, a, it's a disturbing little creature. Or actually, not that little, but uh, um, I like that. I thought that was good. I liked how, uh, you know, using the sound design, they let us kind of conjure it in our mind and then they showed it to it. It's like, oh shit, it's way worse than I could have thought. Uh, <laughs> So I enjoyed that. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's 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 a fun movie. Go see it. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't or, always or happen, it. right? That doesn't always happen. You you think well, how bad it's going to be, and then it shows up. And it's like, oh uh, well. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
exactly like worse. All right. okay yeah. i just want to let you know 150 million rubles is a, a little over 2 million us dollars <laughs> it's a buck 96 yeah just so you know yeah <laughs> yeah i saw it's like still, 14 cents or something yeah it still it still <laughs> smells like a lot of money to me um yeah <laughs> 2 yeah. million's not not low yeah no no, no it's still Jeff, oh. you're up next, sir. Uh, uh, so, I, you know what? It, in the end, I like this. But, I, again, I have... It just totally takes me out of the movie when you have long these long, drawn-out scenes that don't seem to make sense in what's happening to me, <laughs> where we're showing all kinds of uh, angst, you know, with a character working through some ideas. So, anyway, that, that <clears throat> kind of took me out of it. Little problem with the dubbing, um, but other than that, and I and I'm going to go with uh, uh, Dave's number there, three point two five. I'm I was I was when I with said the, I was 5. becoming hardcore again, and I'm. <laughs> but you liked it whatever, more than softy. Me. <laughs> I I just need a fig Newton. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, I do. <laughs> no big newtons today. <laughs> oh god. Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Did you say your favorite scene? Oh, favorite scene. Oh, um yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take uh I think you guys I I guess I'll take the uh when uh the, the when the major, the guy that's part of the post. Uh, saves Anna. Mm, yes, oh, that yeah. was good. Oh yeah. yeah, that was a great scene. Yeah, oh yeah, but it's sweet. Oh, pulls and a good effect up. too. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Uses hand laying on the floor. Ah <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, good stuff. All right, I love a good monster movie. This is a good monster <clears throat> movie. Uh, it has, you know, some lost in translation parts, but at the same time, it it delivers when it needs to. It sticks the landing. It has a great lead. Has a great monster. It's definitely worth visiting, and uh, you, you, even if you end up not liking it, you're not going to be disappointed by watching it. I think you're going mm -hmm. to find something in it to, to enjoy, even if it doesn't uh, land for you. So I, I, I have to. I'm giving it a three point seven five. Yay! Oh, there we Yay. go. There you go. And uh, my favorite scene, I did love the ending with the guy stuck to the post. I thought that was great. And the and the way he was still holding on and not quite, you know, what he was yet. And the way he put himself out. But the whole thing, I, I just, I like that. But since you took basically that, um, I'm going to take the very last scene. You know, we got the girl, she's holding the grenade and... Something, yeah. happens, something happens and then cut the black and i'm like yeah but you, and you hear it you hear it though too like yeah. you hear the little click click yep. boom yep. yep and i just or don't I you. love that kind of ending and makes me want to see what happens next because it could happen two three different ways i just i don't know i just sometimes <laughs> I, are you I saying you're waiting for a super super deep two even deeper su super deeper <laughs> Um, no, 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 that, that sounds like the, the the box in the back of the video store version. I um, uh, I, yeah. uh, I I don't know where to go with it now. They just said, oh, I know. Um, mm -mm. We, there, you can't say anything now. Nothing, nope, nothing, nope. nothing is going to work. But I, I that that worked. That scene worked for me. So I you know watched a lot of seventies films. You know, like the ending of the seventies films were so. They'd always think, think you were going to be happy and safe, and then boom, you'd run into a a train or a pair of uh, uh, bulldozers. And if you know what films those are, <laughs> like, I like you. Um, some of you know what those films are. Other ones look like Crystal going, what the hell? Is that? I know, no. I was like, I was like actually, it's so funny because I was like, don't, don't act like you don't know. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. I totally know. know what you're talking about. You do, you do. All right, guys, this, that was our review for The Super Deep. It is streaming now on Shudder. <laughs> you have Shudder, so go watch it and let us know what you think in the comments down below. Crystal, Dave, Jeff, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was so much fun. Thanks. For yeah. Thank you, Doc, as thank always. You. Yes. Let's yep. say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Good night. I'm going to tell you what those films were. They were... <laughs> Some magazine.